Uh, hello, my name is uh, Tyler Frainer of the National Rifle League and the NRL 22. Uh, I'm doing another uh, instructional video here. I do these instructional videos not only because uh, I love Short Action Precision, who is one of my and one of our sponsors, but because I do believe in their equipment and I do want you guys to get more points. Uh, the last video that I did was specifically on the Short Action Precision Solo Sack and how it's used on barricades. Did a little tomfoolery in that and I don't think a lot of people took that video seriously, but there is good information in there and that is how I actually run barricades. Now, uh, positional stages, I'm putting them every single month. I mean, it is in the rules and regulations. We're gonna have at least one positional stage every single month. I'm not doing away with it. I do believe in this traditional kind of rifle shooting. So I do wanna show you a piece of equipment and how I run positional stages in hopes that you get more hits. So first things first, this is the short action precision uh, sling. I've been running this sling for seven years now. I do believe in it 110%. So uh, the, they make them in a couple different styles, but all the different styles are dumb except for quick disconnect. So that goes ahead and plugs into our Victor Company Titan 1022 stock, best of the best baby. And then the bullet is facing out. You see their, their patch bullet that is facing out. So you place your arm in the cuff and then you simply take the slack of the sling and you pull down on it until it's tight over your big masculine muscles just like this, okay? Now at that point, your, your, gain, your, your, your goal is to gain tension here. And what they have is they have a quick release to, 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 to ratchet that up tighter or to make it looser on demand. So now I'm gonna go through all four positions that you may encounter. The first one is standing position. Easily the hardest unsupported position there is. Now, the thing about shooting rifles is, is they're heavy and you don't want to use your muscles. You wanna use your skeletal bone support. So the first thing I do is you face sideways and you kick your hip out like, like a really attractive woman. Kick your hip out just like that. And then you put your arm straight down so that this bone is straight down and pushed up against, against your hip. And then your arm, your forearm goes straight up. And this way, I am not using my muscles to support the rifle. I'm actually using my skeleton and I'm not gonna get tired after a while. So once I have that position stable, I go ahead and tension up my sling until the sling has tension and is, I'm pulling against it. So not only is the rifle being supported by my skeleton, but I am also pushing against that sling and that creates a stable shooting position. Now I'm not gonna lie, standing unsupported, I like to, to gently squeeze the trigger like, like everybody else does in order to get good hits. Positional shooting is one of those times where I'm doing a figure eight around the target and when I think I'm leading into the target, I'll actually pull that trigger to, to hit. So the next position that we're gonna go over is going to be kneeling. Now I do a little bit of a different uh, kneeling than traditional. I put my right knee out because I'm right-handed sit on my heel and I put my left uh, knee up and I actually move my arm inside of my knee and I push with my forearm up against that and tension the sling so that I am pushing against that sling. And for me, this is an extremely stable shooting position. Okay, now the next shooting position I'm gonna go over is the seated unsupported position. I sit on my rear end with my knees uh, splayed out and then I take my knees and I put them, my, my, my elbows, excuse me, and I put them inside my knees and then I push against the rifle with my forearm. And I'm actually taking this arm and pushing against the forearm of the rifle. When I do that, with my elbows inside my knees, I can squeeze my knees up or relax them in order to get tension on the sling and create a stable shooting position. As you can see, I don't even need my trigger finger to support the rifle. Very, very, very stable shooting position. And then lastly is prone unsupported, which quite honestly is very simple. Uh, utilize the sling in order to push against the rifle. Elbow, elbow, and then again, left hand is pushing against the rifle. I almost have no, no feeling of the rifle on my shoulder. And that, my friends, from the NRL 22 is how I for one shoot positional with the short action precision sling. I hope this helps you get more points. Thank you very much.